chicken and waffles is a southern staple. I've seen it on restaurant menus and I've always thought it sounded so good. And finally, I have a chance to make it. Now I'm starting with the chicken. I'm making the coating that's going on the outside and I'm just mixing up a little milk and buttermilk. That'll come into play here in just a second. But first, I'm gonna mix up the dry ingredients. So it's one and a fourth cups of flour, half a teaspoon of seasoned salt, the same amount of paprika, freshly ground pepper, ground dried thyme, and a fourth a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I'll just stir them all together, then slowly drizzle in the milk and buttermilk while I mix it with a fork. This will leave little lumps that are gonna stick to the chicken and make it nice and crispy. I've got four chicken thighs that I've been soaking in buttermilk overnight. My mom always soaked her fried chicken the night before she fried it, and it always turned out so delicious. Now I'll just put it in the breading, and I'll sprinkle it over and just press it. I want that breading to really stick to the surface of the chicken. So these are gonna go skin side down right into the pan. Oh, and the oil is just right when it sizzles like that. Now I'll get the second two coated. Whenever I fry chicken, I always love to do thighs. It's my favorite cut of chicken. I'm a dark meat girl. For the first stage of cooking, I'm gonna put the lid on the pan and let them go for about five minutes. I'm gonna give the chicken a turn. It sure smells good so far. Really light golden brown. The lid helps it not to get too brown too fast. I'll carefully turn them over so that coating doesn't fall off. Oh, it looks so crispy and beautiful. I'll just get the lid back on and I'm gonna let it cook for another three minutes or so. I'm just gonna take it out with a spatula, let the excess drip off. At this stage, it's not quite finished browning and it's not quite finished cooking in the middle. I'm gonna put the pan into a 350 degree oven. It's just gonna take about 10 to 15 minutes to finish them off. I'm gonna whip up the dry ingredients. That starts with a cup of flour. This is just my basic go-to waffle recipe. They always turn out right. This is one thing I never wanna experiment with. I'll also add a teaspoon and a half of baking powder and two big tablespoons of sugar. Whenever I make pancakes or waffles, I always add sugar. I like for it to have a little bit of sweetness. And then just a pinch of salt, and I'll sift these together. I've got an egg cracked in the pitcher, and I'll add about 3 quarters of a cup of whole milk and a nice splash of vanilla, all the good things of life. And then this just needs to get whisked together. I don't want to overmix this batter. I just be really gentle. Okay, now that's about halfway mixed together. So I'll pour in the melted butter. Melted butter in pancake or waffle batter always adds extra flavor, a little extra golden color, and definitely extra deliciousness. I'll add some beaten egg whites. This is something I love to add to my waffle batter. It gives the waffles such an amazing texture. This is just two egg whites that I beat until they were stiff. Whenever you add egg whites to anything, you definitely need to treat it with tender, loving care. The great thing about waffles is they don't have to be sweet. You can make savory waffles and put cheese in them. Mm, I'll do those another day. Okay, now I'll just close the waffle maker. The waffles are just gonna take about four to five minutes to cook. Chicken and waffles has to have some kind of syrup. That's what makes it so delicious. So it's pancake syrup with a little bourbon, and they get brought to a boil, then simmered until they're nice and warm. Then with the heat off, I whisked in two tablespoons of butter, one at a time, and some cayenne pepper. Now I'm gonna throw all of this together. Mm-mm. Piece of chicken. This looks like a good one. I'll grab this beautiful syrup. Oh my gosh, syrup on fried chicken? I have one thing to say to that, yes. Oh, I smell that bourbon too. 